you want a drink? No. Now oh, that's interesting. Why? Our roles are becoming reversed. Who is now the strong and who the weak? I can never be strong. We're set in um, New York City in the 1930s, and we're in this kind of basement Greenwich Village apartment. And Gregor is this world-renowned financier, and he's in a lot of trouble. He's done all had all these corrupt dealings over the past couple of years, and everything's really caught up to him now. And the media and the feds, everyone's after him, so he takes refuge in his son's apartment. They really don't have a relationship, the father and son. Uh, the son basically denounced him as a father five years prior to this moment. It's apparent that he still loves his father very much, worships him somewhat, and idolizes him, but hates him at the same time for being the man that he is. In the rest of the show, we get an intimate look at the relationship that his father has with his business associates and his wife, and we get to see how they all intertwine and come together to form the way this man has lived his life and why it's brought him to this point. Frank Langella plays Gregor Antonescu, and his performance was brilliant. Uh, honestly, he's uh, a great presence. He was the strongest presence on stage. This was a, a wonderful performance. I think he did a fantastic job. Every motion of his hand, every way he walked across the stage or said anything or whispered things was just so in tune to what you would think this man would be, that it was just, it was riveting, actually. Adam Driver plays Vasil Antonescu, the son of Gregor and Franklin Jell's character, and he, to me at least, didn't come through as strongly early on, but later on as, as the story begins to develop, you really see why uh, his character was, was played down a little bit in the beginning. He really did a great job um, conveying that, that character and kind of being that um, stepping into that adoring son role. Although Frank Langella was definitely the headliner of the cast, it wasn't the Frank Langella show. Everyone else carried their part well, everybody else carried their, their roles well. Without Frank Langella carrying the show, I honestly feel he did carry the show a bit. It was well written, a strong story. He brought the edge to it that made me really feel like I left the theater and liked it. I liked the story and I liked the, the play. I, there were times where I found myself getting a little bored. I liked it, honestly. I am a fan of shows of this type. It definitely throws a lot of dialogue where you have to read between the lines. And for people who like more simple shows and just want to sit back and, and eat their Twizzlers and enjoy the show, this may not be the show for them. I think that, yeah, I think that Man and Boy is a show that I will, there are a lot of people that should see it. There's a lot of friends of mine that I'll tell to go see it. and. I'll probably see it again, to be honest. A good show for me is something that I walk out and I can't stop talking about, that I turn to like practically everyone I see and say, you need to go to this show. This one, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't get that immediate reaction.